Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today and today we're gonna be talking about hair loss and hair shedding. I get so many requests to do a video about this topic so one, if you're dealing with this, don't feel like you're alone. I get requests weekly about hair shedding. So it's definitely something that I should have addressed sooner. But the reason why it took me so long is I really wanted to do my research to give you guys good information that's really going to help with your hair loss or hair shedding problem. Hair shedding is definitely normal. It's something that we all experience. Study shows that we lose about 50 to 100 follicles of hair every day. Now due to my own personal research and asking you guys, my subscribers, for your advice, I've learned that there's several different reasons as to why you might be losing your hair. It could be hereditary, it could be because of your diet, it could be because of your medication, it could be because of postpartum if you just had a baby, it could be because of stress, it could be your hair routine, or maybe you're just getting old. But regardless, I have found some tips, tricks, and remedies that will hopefully help strengthen your hair. So the first thing we should talk about is our hair. It's made up of 90% protein. So if you want more hair, you should have more protein. And you could do this by your diet or literally adding protein to your hair. So let me give you a full list of the food that you should be eating that's going to help give you more protein and iron that will strengthen your hair. So some food that's rich in iron is spirulina. I don't even know what that is. Liver, oh, that's not happening. Grass-fed beef, red meat, I do love me some filet mignon. Lentils, dark chocolate, would you look at that. Spinach, you know, Popeye was onto something. Sardines, that's not happening. Black beans, pistachios, and raisins. Well, that's a fun list of foods. Okay, there's gotta be more, there's gotta be more. Uh, broccoli, that's a good one. Quinoa, I love quinoa. Kale, I did eat a lot of kale. You guys saw my Greek salads. Tofu, no, not a fan of tofu. Eggs, uh, poultry, dark meat of turkey. Uh, there's some in there. Apparently, I should have more iron and protein in my life. Now, funny enough, according to my own personal online research and your testimonies, both platforms said that deep conditioning really helped with their hair loss. What do you know? If only somebody would have told you that. Like, who would have thought? Deep conditioning? Deep conditioning your hair once a week actually helped. Wow. But real talk, I was very happy to read and hear that those of you that have committed to deep conditioning your hair have noticed that that has truly strengthened your hair. Doing a deep conditioning treatment is adding all the nutrients that your hair needs. So if you have broken hair shafts, it's fixing that brokenness, giving you beautiful hair. Besides doing regular deep conditioning treatments, you also wanna use a deep conditioner that has protein. Now I did some research on what are the best protein treatments for curly hair, and unfortunately, a lot of the top protein treatments were not curly girl friendly. A lot of them contained silicone. So I wasn't too happy with my search online. I'm gonna have to just do my own investigation. But two of the main deep conditioner protein treatments that I saw online coming up a lot in people's favorites was the Briogeo Do Not Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I've only been able to use this once actually. I only have these little travel size. I'm hoping to get more soon. But this one really is about repairing your hair. It has a blend of avocado, sweet almond oil, argan oils, vitamin B5, and biotin which is always known to grow your hair, and it's just made to help damaged hair. Now, although I only have the travel size and I've only used it once, I still can vouch for this because it is sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. I'm definitely an advocate of the Briogeo brand in general, and I have many curl friends that use this all the time. So the Briogeo Do Not Despair Repair Hair Mask is a great one. And another one that I saw on there a lot was the Diva Curl Heaven and Hair. Now, although that was on a lot of lists, I have to recommend the Diva Curl Deep Sea Repair Mask. This is one of their newer masks. I think those are just older articles that don't know about this yet. But this one is packed with protein. And with protein treatments, 
You only leave them on for 20 minutes and then you rinse them out. You cannot leave your protein treatments in your hair overnight or for like hours if you do that with your normal deep conditioning treatment. Protein has to be in and washed out. Everything is about balance. We don't want too much of anything. If you guys know of some other sulfate, paraben, and silicone free hair masks or protein treatments, please leave a comment below to help us all out. Another important thing that I wanna talk about is your hair maintenance. Sometimes pulling your hair back into a bun or a ponytail or braiding your hair too tight could be adding to why you have hair loss. The only time I really freaked out in the shower because of hair loss was when I got my hair braided into two large braids. When you lose, 100 hair strands a day, but then you don't wash your hair for like weeks or maybe even months. Think about all the hair that wants to fall out, but can't because it's trapped in a braid. So it looks intense when you first take out your braids because all that hair that's been waiting to drop throughout the weeks or months you've had it, hasn't, so all at once it looks very, very intimidating but you shouldn't necessarily freak out. It would have happened anyways, it just was trapped in a braid. But if you're someone that does a lot of protective styles and you're always pulling your hair back into a very slick bun, very slick ponytail, tight braids every day, you could be adding too much strain on your scalp and you're pulling that hair literally out. That's a very common reason as to why your hairline might be receding or you're losing your edges. Now, if you're losing your edges, wow, there's a lot of information in this video. Everybody swears by castor oil. You put some castor oil on your edges every night whenever it feels dry, and that has been proven over and over again to really help grow back these baby hairs. And that's something I think I'm gonna start doing every night just to see what happens. Another hair maintenance tip would be how you're detangling your hair. You do not want to get a brush or a comb, start at the top of your head, and then brush down. You're going to be ripping out way more hair than you need to. One, I would suggest, which a lot of people don't like to do, is finger detangle. When you finger detangle your hair, it's way more gentle than taking a brush or a comb and going through all of your hair. Sometimes I will start with a finger to tangle. I might get a brush and get a couple knots and then I'll just go back to finger to tangling if it gets really matted. But for the most part, I just like to use my fingers. If you do use a brush or a comb, make sure that you start at the ends of your hair and then work your way up. Never brush your hair from the top and just pull down. And last but not least for my DIY people, I saw a lot of hair shedding DIY treatment videos about doing a black or green tea rinse. This is literally where you take a green tea, black tea bag, put it in some water, let it boil, let all the nutrients get in the water, then you put it in a squeeze bottle and apply it directly to your scalp. This is a treatment that you could do once a week for only a month and give your hair a break, or if your hair study's not that bad, then just once a month. I found some great videos here on YouTube on how to do that, so I will link some of my favorite videos below in the description box as well, so you guys can check those out. And if you want me to also try the tea rinse myself, leave me a comment and let me know. Whew. Now, even though I've given you all this information, I know some of you still want more. You know, you want your quick fix. Well, let me read a couple other options that you, my subscribers, have told me about. Some of you have recommended OGX Biotin or Biotin pills, taking vitamins, prenatals, trying something called Righteous Root Oil, haven't tried it, but someone vouched for it, and Nioxin, which apparently is sold at Sephora. So if you've tried any of these, please leave a comment, let someone know how well it worked for you, give them some more information. Protein is a big topic in itself. I do still have to do a video about being protein sensitive and just protein in general, like it's a lot to cover. So that'll probably be in another video as well. If you are someone that has also experienced hair shedding or hair loss, please leave me a comment. Tell us all your story, what you did to fix it, what didn't work, what did. That way my comment section could be a place that really helps and advises other people that are also dealing with the same issue. If you learned a thing or two from this video, I hope you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. So come back next week for more curly hair videos. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.